without breaking the filibuster. Wow, got a little typo there. I don't have to correct that after the show. Without breaking the filibuster, the radical agenda of the DNC will not happen. I'm going to call this Dems Admit Filibuster is all that stands between we, the people, and their authoritarian agenda. And I, I'm just, uh, I'm going to make sure I spell filibuster right in the video. So this is filibuster DNC democracy mob rule. DNC media admit radical authoritarian agenda cannot pass with filibuster guarding the republic. It's topic report. This is the same with the 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 SCOTUS, the Supreme Court packing. They know that. Uh, well, right now it's allegedly. I say allegedly six to three in favor of the conservatives. So they just mean to do what they can to assure that they're they can uh, uh, put into place people who are not committed to King Bill, but are committed to the DNC Bibles, whatever they are. They have multiple Bibles. And so they still haven't gone through the harmonization process to zero it down to the one Bible that the law used to make sure that people fit within their perverse ideology. This uh, headline from BBC News, filibuster, the biggest op- obstacle to Biden getting his way. And now, and now, see that? The BBC, part of part of the Corpo State Nationalist uh, Coalition, which is very informal, not, it's an informal coalition, subject to revision as the various competing Corpo State Nationalists uh, see opportunity to make themselves the only face in the mirror that they see the mirror that reflects the leadership the priest kings of the new the new corpo state nationalist reality from bbc.com here's the excerpt most of biden's big ticket goals require the support of congress and while the legislative branch is controlled narrowly by his party passage of the president's agenda is far from guarantee the senate one of the two legislative chambers is unique among western democracies in effectively requiring a supermajority to enact more major pieces, most major pieces of legislation. That's because we're a republic and not a democracy. And that's why you notice that the, the American right left never says defenders of the republic, it's defenders of democracy. Washington Post with his democracy dies in darkness. No, democracy should die. Nobody should support democracy because democracy is mobocracy. It's mob rule. And mob rule is, is, is empowering of the elite few because the mob, its IQ on average is 100 or less. And these human beings, not only do they have a low IQ, but they also lack the resources, the time, the space to figure out for themselves what's going on in the world because they're busy just grinding day to day. And so it is the elite who control the means of uh, social and cultural production who can easily control these people and make them believe whatever they want them to believe. And that's why... Democracy is, is, is a big, powerful word in the mouths of the billionaires that rule this land. Uh, not all billionaires are in their club, but I'm talking about the billionaires in their particular club. So more from this little excerpt here, this uh, more than revealing excerpt that maybe the... Well, th- this is really intended, this type of story is intended to inspire their, their, their factional partisans to support this for fear that they're, they're the agenda that promises to deliver them from real injustice will, will get delivered. An agenda that, if it's passed, would not deliver anybody from the injustices in the land, would only increase the injustices. This, uh, the, derived from a Dutch word for, for pirate or freebooter in the 19th century, the filibuster, as it's called, has been a part of U.S. political process since the early days of the American Republic. See that? You finally said, America, see, we are a republic. We're not a democracy. We're a republic. Well, whatever, well, we're supposed to be a republic. Only in modern times, however, has it become a common and powerful tool for political obstruction. Its critics revile it as an anti-democratic practice. Well, good, good. We don't want democracy. We don't want democratic process. Democratic process is rule of the thugs, of, of the many thugs over the minor, over the few who, who resist such thuggeries. A, a, an anti-democratic practice that can grind the gears of government to a halt. Good! 
government should be grinded to a halt. Its supporters claim it is a cherished tradition that encourages bipartisanship and prevents a rushed legislative process. Well, it's a Republican principle, and if it wasn't used in the past, it was most likely because, well, by and large, the competing parties were were much more... I'll just say they understood the reality of power a lot more. And maybe the reality of power has changed. I'm not sure. But the reality of power was that if the elites tried to thug on us too much, they would get their hat handed to them. And so there was a lot more agreement amongst the, the folks and, until, well, you know, the, the Civil War where you have largely Christians that were uh, in uh, inciting the government to change or die because of its stance on slavery these christians could not continue to align themselves with a, a government that claimed to be a government of liberty and yet continue to allow human beings who were no more or less than any other human beings to be to be literally to be enslaved chattel slavery other than that after that time there was a lot more harmony between the parties at least as far as using the construct, the ideational construct of the Bill of Rights as a legitimization of power. But now the Bill of Rights as a legitimization of power is gone, and we're now, into, well, it's not gone, it's almost gone. We're now re-entering into the Bronze Age, where priest-kingism ruled the land, where power was legitimized by power alone. If you had the power, if you had the means of, of, of cultural, social, and lethal production, then that alone gave you the legitimization of power. That's that's what the DNC wants to get us back to. It is des it, it desperately because, well, there's reasons for that. Uh, I've covered that in other shows. I won't get into it now because we're running out of time on this segment. Other headlines here. Why a filibuster showdown in the U.S. Senate is unavoidable. This is from The Guardian UK. The filibuster no longer represents the people's voice, pfall.org. Okay, we don't want the people's voice represented. We don't want mobocracy. We want a republic. We want a system where the thugs can't rule over the few. Arizona Democratic activists looking to deny Dem support for Senator Sinema. She's a, I think it's a, she, yes, she, she's a, a Democrat who does not seem to voice support for ending the filibuster. Maybe because she still believes that the Republicans might one day be in power. Whereas the rest of the Democrat Party, they believe they got this. They've, they've locked it down, and now they can create a one-party rule in which competition has been fully eliminated. And the billionaires, the leaders of the Corpus State Nationalist Party, the de facto Corpus State Nationalist Party, can have their way with the rest of us. Senate must reform filibuster to achieve bipartisan compromise. That's insane. That's from the Hill. They're actually saying that bipartisanship will be created by removing the filibuster that checks the power of the majority of the minority. Insane. Reform the Senate filibuster and restore American democracy. Shepherdexpress.com. No, we do we don't we're not a democracy. You idiot. I'm sorry, I shouldn't call people idiots. I apologize, but anyway. We're not a democracy. You don't want to live under a democracy, especially if you're one of the poors. If you're one of the poors, a democracy will destroy what little rights you have. What little ideational you power, power you have that checks the lethal power of the state, you'll lose it all. And here's a letter. Biden undergoes a political change of heart on Bill of Filibuster from BuffaloNews.com. And finally, Democrats hand their foes a weapon as they weigh a filibuster loophole from Politico.com. <laughs> 